I was introduced to Kathak uh, by my mother, of course, when I was around um, seven. And uh, the first thing uh, that, you know, uh, made me very sure that I want to do this was the appearance that, uh, uh, the image that I had of Rohini Thai. Uh, her presence, her, um, you know, uh, the way she used to stand, walk, everything. So I just wanted to be like her. And um, that's the inspiration of taking dance, uh, which I call it. I come from a very um, well-read, well-educated, um, literature kind of a background uh, from my family. So my um, grandfather was a writer, my aunt is a filmmaker, uh, my mother um, is a singer. So uh, the art was in the family itself and it helped me a lot in a way that uh, we saw uh, good um, performances when we were young and uh, the observation helped more than actual learning. So um, I think these are the two main uh, things that inspired me and maybe eventually uh, helped me taking a decision to take dance ahead. So uh, uh, that's, that's how I was introduced to it. And then uh, later when uh, I uh, started reading about art, like literature, art and music and dance, uh, I, I strongly built um, liking towards uh, Marathi literature and that has immense impact on my thinking, I believe. And um, that's how my work is also uh, inspired. So um, when, I, when I go back and I, uh, I think to myself that um, what is it uh, that when I dance, I think uh, throughout in my dance. So I think about the literature most of the times. So I think about the words, I think about the meaning and I'm more into uh, emoting the meaning uh, than uh, talking about the beats. And uh, that's what I believe is uh, my strong point and my weak point as well. Because uh, uh, that's what I saw Baby Tai also doing it. She had, she had tremendous uh, uh, Laikari and uh, Riyaz of Tal but uh, her, um, what we can say is uh, her hold over the words and emoting the meaning beyond the words was something that inspired me throughout. And that's what I saw when I uh, started learning under uh, Roshan Tai as well. So uh, I believe this has um, been the main you know, source, main energy to take my dance ahead. Now, when I talk in class also, when I teach my students also, uh, the first thing I do is everything, even it's a, it's a technical word, the word itself has its meaning. And uh, I split it out and I teach the meaning first, then the technical term, and then the actual practical of it. So, uh, the, I believe language is uh, especially marathi or sanskrit or hindi has tremendous impact on uh, my work uh, now when i talk of my work uh, i believe that uh, i have seen baby tai and roshan tai doing uh, good amount of work rather quite depthful work uh, on uh, every topic that they have got for choreography. So whenever it was just uh, for say, uh, Baby Tai had a topic for Udan. So Udan, how do you take that Udan or the flight? Just taking the flight word to a spiritual level or Roshan Tai taking Vyom um, to another level uh, beyond astrology and astronomy. So uh, this is how um, I came up with uh, my work called Advaita, which is uh, oneness. Now oneness, uh, uh, me and my dance, oneness of uh, me and God, the spiritual uh, energy that I consider is God. Uh, oneness of uh, my uh, tradition and my gurus. Uh, so this is Advaita for me. And this is how I started working on uh, this concept of Advaita. 
Now, um, Advaita is basically, uh, again, the literature uh, that I got uh, is uh, of Sen poetry, Maharashtrian Sens, who uh, have very, very uh, strong impact on the society in terms of brotherhood, spirituality and uh, oneness. So, uh, that's how uh, I learned a few compositions which Bebita used to perform of uh, saint poets. I learned a few compositions of uh, Roshan Tai that she uh, choreographed and used to perform. And then I contributed a few of my own. So, I choreographed a few compositions on saint poetry on my students and on myself as well. So, this is Advaita. And uh, I believe uh, when I, I even I, when I perform now also, Ganu Aze Guna Guna, Vara Vahe Runa Zuna, Bhavata Ratuha Kana. So it is uh, seeing the God beyond uh, the personification of Him. It is uh, when I when I when I look into the mirror, and I am at a stage where I don't see my face, I see Him. So, uh, this is something uh, Advaita is for me. So, when I say Darpani Pahata Nadise Rupa Apale, so I can't see myself anymore. I just see you. And that's what I feel when I dance. I'm not uh, me. I'm not Abha. I'm somebody else. And uh, that's how I feel uh, has, you know, pulled me through everything till here. And uh, that's how, that's where Advaita came. That's where uh, Advaita started. And uh, Advaita uh, has been a journey. It's not a choreographic composition. So it starts from uh, basic literature of uh, like a prayer or uh, a vandana, we can say, praise um, of God, uh, of Lord uh, Ganesha. And then it goes to Darpani Pahata Nadise Rupa Apali. So it's, it's a beautiful journey, it's a spiritual journey and I believe a, a dancer or any artist is uh, basically somebody who uh, is more into spirituality than the, than the actual presence when he or she is performing on stage. So they are connected to some energy and uh, that energy once it is experienced the audience too can experience that energy and that's the magic. Uh, so Advaita is about magic. It's about connecting yourself to something that you actually cannot define. So uh, that's about my work. Uh, I uh, worked also on a few very uh, challenging concepts like uh, uh, some compositions which were meant for mathematicians, some for scientists. Uh, so I saw uh, Roshan Tai um, working on Vyom. So Vyom is about uh, how world was created, what is the relation between man and uh, uh, the stars uh, and um, it is it is another level in a way that it covers the astrology, the astronomy, the scientific and artistic aspect of it. So, um, we see uh, all the scientific concepts beautifully woven uh, in an artistic presentation and uh, that inspired me to uh, work on mathematics and science as well through dance. So, I presented a work uh, recently for ISER, uh, for a mathematics uh, conference and um, a few years back for uh, NCL as well, for the scientists. It was basically um, a biography and uh, his work of uh, Dr. Saha. So, uh, this was again very challenging, but the core of any work that uh, is presented, uh, it comes from a very, very, uh, you know, a disciplined uh, style of Baby Tai and Roshan Tai, how things work. Uh, every composition, even if it is a minute composition or an hour long composition, it has to have a specific beginning, 
it has to have a very core and intense uh, mid part of it and the end. So the journey is very clear, it has to be thoroughly studied and uh, there should not be no, you know, should not be any scope for any doubt for the audience. So even if it is vague at artistic level, but at a research level, I believe uh, that's what I learned from my gurus that uh, how a subject should be studied well before handling at a choreographic level. So uh, that's, um, that's a discipline, that's a teaching that we have fortunately got from uh, Rohini Tai and has been um, you know very very strongly taken ahead by Roshan Tai, my guru and I am trying to take it ahead as well and um, encouraging my students to study about uh, dance technically and literature wise as well. So it is not just about presenting uh, your art as a performer in front of the audience but knowing the art uh, first, understanding it, then experiencing and then sharing with the audience. So that process uh, I believe and I strongly believe that uh, works and uh, it gives another level of happiness and satisfaction as a performer. When I work uh, on a choreographic work, uh, how I choose the music? Uh, I believe the music chooses the work because uh, uh, it's not that the music is already set in my mind because uh, unlike uh, Rohini Tai, she herself was a, uh, we can say in a way a musician herself. She's composed many compositions for her own choreographic work. She uh, you used to sing it. Um, she has written her composition, so uh, you know she was a music composer, uh, she was a writer, she was a dancer, she was a director of the choreographic work herself. Unfortunately, I uh, am not into music or I do not sing or I have uh, not composed any composition musically as such. But uh, we have been very fortunate that uh, we got to listen to uh, very very rich music while growing up uh, so um, from any uh, beat which we call as classical Indian classical music beat to any um, western percussion beat as well we still can connect we um, are taught in a way to connect to the soul of the music through dance so uh, that's how I choose the music for my choreographic work. So it is not a beat or it is uh, not the instrument that I think of. I think of the mood and uh, that's how I choose uh, my music. Uh, when I get it composed, I um, literally write an essay and I give it to the music composer and uh, I explain each and every um, part of it and then I uh, ask him to interpret it in his own form and uh, that's how I collaborate with music. Uh, with um, the topics uh, which are challenging for Kathak I may say like maths and uh, scientific uh, projects, uh, I uh, make sure that I go to the experts, I make sure that every concept is very very clear to me and uh, uh, for the literature as well, I go to experts. I uh, get the meaning of each and every word. And as we have Sanchari Bhav, uh, one word may have many interpretations. And I should be able to interpret it in many ways that that is uh, is always an attempt. So it is not the literal word that I have to emote because the word itself gives a meaning. Uh, what I have seen growing up watching Rohini Tai, watching uh, Roshan Tai is uh, the Sanchari Bhav of any composition. So when I, uh, when I say, when I talk about uh, Ghanu Aze Guna Guna, so it is uh, the clouds that are making the sound which is making me uncomfortable. Uncomfortable in a way that uh, it is pulling me, uh, it is pulling me towards that energy that I cannot define. Uh, Ghanu Aze has been uh, 
very very close to my heart so when i say ghanu vaaze it is the clouds and the sound and how do i relate it to the sanchari bhav is ghanu vaaze and ghanu vaaze guna guna vara vahe runa suna is the wind and it is vara vahe runa suna so this sanchari bhav uh, we've been very fortunate to observe learn from our gurus and that's how i try uh, to emote it in my choreographic work as well so uh, when i say uh, about when i talk about rosh roshan tai's work uh, when i say avat sham lachak chale mukut dhare is the literal meaning but uh, आवत शाम लचक चले मुकुट धरे सो फ्रॉम दिस लेवल ऑफ दिस लिटल कृष्णा हाउ ही ग्रो अप एंड मुकुट धरे एंड नरेटेड गीता सो वन वर्ड एंड इट्स डिफरेंट मीनिंग्स इज always a challenge it uh, does not uh, stops or it does not restrict the meaning to the literal word but to the sanchari bhav of it and uh, i consider is the challenge in any uh, work that i do so that's about the literature how i work on uh collaborating uh, i have tried uh, collaborating with different art forms as well i have uh, tried collaborating with bharatnatyam with odissi i have tried collaborating with uh, contemporary dance movements i have also uh, tried collaborating with paintings and sculptures so i've been very fortunate to have uh, uh, been a part of a research of my guru uh, which is uh, on ancient um, sculptures and medieval paintings and dance so uh, how do i read dance in sculptures how do i see dance in paintings um, how do i uh, see dance in the color combinations uh, is another uh, way another aspect of dance that enriches uh, us i would say and uh, so uh this has been uh, very easy for us i would say because our gurus have experimented so much already that uh, it has given us a guideline uh, how to collaborate with different art forms with different dance forms with uh, different uh, forms of painting and culture uh, culture around the world so uh, i consider myself very very fortunate it's been very open journey uh, so much of exposure while learning itself uh, that things have been easy for us i would say that's about my work and um, it's about mostly about my upbringing as a dancer and um, i very positively uh, wish to take it ahead wish to uh, carry it forward and give it to my students as well and uh, i see that uh, they have picked up little bit of it and are trying their best to take it ahead and that's it